Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tip video, I'm going to teach you how to use aspirin to trigger the SAR response, the SAR response, systemic acquired resistance in your tomato plants. I'm going to answer a couple of questions I always get to when I talk about this. First thing is, is you want a 325 milligram tablet of aspirin. You use one tablet or two tablets per gallon of water. These are two gallon watering containers. This one's already set up. I'm going to use that one. You just drop in the aspirin, wait 10 minutes, let it dissolve, mix it in. Do not get aspirin that has the plastic coating in there. They take too long to dissolve and that coating will clog up your um, watering can. Typically I use a sprayer, but I wanted to make it even simpler. You can just use a watering can. You don't need to go out and buy a sprayer. So one 325 milligram um, tablet of aspirin per gallon of water. Now this only works for tomato plants. Look online, research, aspirin and tomato, you'll find scientific studies. They say that it helps the nightshade family plants, which would include uh, potatoes. It really doesn't help them. It only works for tomatoes. I've been doing this for 10 years. I research it a lot. I will link a video, or I will link my blog article to this if you want to read more about it. So it's pretty straightforward. When your tomato plant gets mold, fungus, bacterial diseases, attack, uh, attacked by pests, it naturally sends out a hormone through the whole system to toughen up basically and it's really done to fight off pests diseases and pests you can trick your tomato plant into thinking that's happening by using the salicylic acid in aspirin so you're basically taking the aspirin it acts like the hormone when you mix it on when you pour it onto the leaves into the root system the tomatoes fold it triggers the SAR response you get a tougher tomato plant the leaves might get a little bit greener they might get a little thicker it works now you don't want to do this for seedlings there's no reason to do it when your plants are small when they get to about a foot to two feet that's when you give them the first dose of aspirin. Now, people have asked me if I'm allergic to aspirin, should I do it? Well, no, if you're allergic to it, you probably shouldn't be messing with aspirin. People ask me if it's organic. No, it's not organic, uh, but people take aspirin every day, so I'm not sure how that's really related to your tomato plant. You're just putting a little bit of aspirin on the plants. This absolutely works. So you do it when your tomato plants are about this tall. Let me just show you how I do it. Soak the leaves soak in the root system and that will trigger the SAR response. Nothing fancy. You can do this every two weeks. Do not do it with plants that are struggling. You are using this while the plants are green and healthy and happy and you're toughening them up. Once they get a disease, this response has already started. So you're doing this early, trick them, toughen them up. The diseases and pests have a harder time attacking your tomato plant. I hope that makes sense. Again, you can do this every two weeks. If your plant was struggling, it was yellow, it's weak, no need to do this. Get your plant healthy first and then start the aspirin routine every two weeks. Again, don't do this when the plant is small. It's not necessary. Give them time to establish. Look something like this. That guy's a little bit smaller, but he's been out a while, so I'm going to pour it onto that plant too just wanted to cut in and add one more thing this is not a fertilizer so if your tomato plants leaves look a little bit yellow it's not a disease or anything like that this doesn't help this is not a fertilizer it's just to trigger that response to toughen them up against pests and disease continue with your fertilizers normally use this around them and all you're doing is using the aspirin the salicylic acid to trick the tomato plant in triggering the SAR response, systemic acquired resistance response that it normally does when it's attacked. Thanks so much for watching. Check the description for a couple of links. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and give this a try. It only works on tomatoes, but I've been doing it for years and it's really, really effective.